Monday the 9th of November will mark 1,500 days in prison for the Turkish editor, journalist and author Ahmet Altan. Penn Norway calls for his immediate and unconditional release. We will be studying his initial indictment in the case in which he was uh, accused and alleged to have used subliminal messages on television um, prior to an attempted coup in the country in 2016. We expect to find that that indictment, just like all the others we've studied this year in our Turkey Indictment Project 2020, will show that the indictment itself has not adhered to Turkish procedural standards uh, outlined in Law 170, and neither does it conform to international standards. If these indictments are flawed initially, it is up to the judicial panel to throw the case out of court and to acquit these individuals, and they should not be left to spend two or three years or longer in prison uh, waiting for a judicial system that is not functioning, waiting for a fair trial that is not going to come until there is serious, not just reform, but a return to the rule of law in Turkey, adherence to the constitution and to the procedural and penal code. And we call today on the 9th of November 2020 for the immediate release of Ahmet Altan. He is a strong dissenting voice, but that is what is permitted in free, with freedom of expression and in a functioning democracy. Um, Penn Norway uh, will be studying Ahmet Altan's indictment and we will be reporting on it before the end of the year. Three, Ahmet Altan.